guys, it's Maria. Welcome to the second week of my Plastic Free July. If you haven't watched my previous video, I recommend doing so because I explain a little bit more what Plastic Free July is. Although it's pretty self-explanatory, it's basically where you try to not use any plastics for the month of July. Of course, we use plastic pretty much every day, but the point of this is to try to reduce our use of single plastic items. Things like bottles of soda, sandwich bags, candy wrappers, potato chips, things that you can only use once and can't be recycled. I've been trying to reduce my plastic use for a while now, so I have made some changes here and there, but the goal of this is for me to try and not get any new single-use plastic items in my home. Now, the food that I do have already that has come in plastic, I will keep using because I don't want to waste it, and if I don't use it within a month, it'll go bad. So with that said, here is how my second week of Plastic Free July went. I am here with my boyfriend at Starbucks and we're gonna go get ourselves some reusable cups so we can get Starbucks in reusable cups instead of the plastic cups from now on. And then could I get a dragon fruit refresher in here with no lemonade? Perfect, we're out of lemonade. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> Today I'm doing some cleaning. I just vacuumed the floors and the carpets and now I'm going to mop the floors. So I will be using this floor cleaner that I got from Grove Collaborative. It was a concentrate that I just added water to it and the bottle is glass so it's totally reusable and it's also a lot cleaner. It doesn't have a lot of the toxic smells and chemicals that other floor cleaners have and I don't really have a mop. So what I use is this Swiffer. Well, it used to be my mom's, so it's existed for a long time. However, the soap cleaner thing ran out a while ago, as well as the single-use pads that clean the floor. So instead of buying new ones of those that I have to throw away after every single use, I got this reusable one, which is also from Grove. So this one, once I'm done using it, I can just throw it in the washer and dryer and it'll be good for many, many, many uses. For my toilet bowl, I got this zero plastic toilet cleaner. It comes in a steel container. It's activated with water. It has no dyes, no bleach, no fragrances. It's not tested on animals. So I'm gonna try it out. I haven't used it yet. Let's see how it goes. You basically pour it on your toilet until the water is covered and it foams up. So then you just brush it with your toilet brush and flush and it's all good. water bottle so I don't have to buy one when I'm there. This week wasn't very different than last week. I did pretty much the same things but it was cleaning week so you guys got to see how I did that as well as I am so happy with my brand new Starbucks cup. I didn't really have a reusable Starbucks cup because I don't go to Starbucks that often. But now, the very few times that I do go, I want to take my reusable cup. And I know that the one I got is usually for hot drinks, but I like getting cold drinks and I like tea better than coffee, so don't come at me. I just really like that one, okay? But anyway, thank you guys for watching my second week of Plastic Free July. If you have any other tips that I can change or that other people that are doing this can change or can get help with, please write them down in the comments. And I will see you guys next week on my third week of Plastic Free July. Bye!